I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I've got something important to discuss today. Not very fun, but I thought it should be talked about. So while Googling uh, Abyssrium and so forth, I noticed a new site popped up in the results, pretty close to mine. Um, TapTapFish.net. Please do not visit it. Uh, you'll see why in a second. Um, it's this big old guide thing split into tons of pages, and uh, a lot of the phrasing on the website seemed really familiar. Um, and I took a quick peek around, and in less than like three minutes, I confirmed that, yep, these guys just took my guide, chopped it up, reworded everything, and uh, slapped a bunch of their own ads on it. And it's ranking fairly well in Google. If you see taptapfish.net, uh, that's not affiliated if you like search, you know, on your phone or whatever for a guide. Uh, that's not affiliated with me. It's not affiliated with the Abyssrium devs, uh, Cheetah Mobile. Um, that is just uh, somebody who saw my guide and wanted a bunch of ad money, which honestly, I don't really get very impressive ad money from the site. Um, and uh, I, I wish I could show you exactly why it's clearly plagiarized, but... Uh, if I did that, they'll just remove it. They'll just remove the blatant plagiarism and, you know, try to make it a bit more subtle. So I would rather just they keep that embarrassing plagiarism up. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would say, and I noticed something about the guide. So it has a bunch of pictures and stuff, right? And it's all split out into different pages. And I was like, why would you go to all this effort to make my guide, but less good? And then I realized, oh, if you split the same content over like 100 times as many pages, there's a lot more clicks and there's a lot more ad views. See, I wanted to talk about why I make guides the way I do. A long time ago, last year, I was looking for hidden fish in Abyssrium and all I found were these video guides. They're like five to 10 minutes and it's really slow and there's bad explanations. And I just don't like video guides. I know I make video guides a lot, especially for this game, but the whole reason I made the guide was I was like, this this sucks. You know, maybe if I collect this information into text form, people will be able to find it. And especially because it's on, it's a mobile game. You don't want to watch a video on mobile. I hate watching videos on my phone. Um, I just want to read stuff and get back to the app. And so I made my guide. And I make guides that I would want to read. You know, I keep it all on one page. I hate when you gotta click around 500 times to get the info. I hate when there's a, done, a ton of big flashy images that do nothing but eat up your mobile data. It doesn't help explain anything. I just get the information all out, out there all on one page, easy to read. I keep it updated. Um, I, I cite my sources. I have a credit section in any of my guides where I cite, where I have sources. Um, I cite them. I, I keep all the comments that people might make and thank you everyone who submitted info or even just asked a question. Um, I really appreciate that, all that. And all, yeah, yeah the, the, the site that clearly stole my stuff, there's no mention of my site on there. Of course there's not. I, I just thought I should point that out. There, there's no like, oh hey, thanks to Sir SirTapTap who made this great guy that I totally didn't steal from. Um, yeah, and this is kind of why when people ask if they can use my stuff, I tend to just not reply, honestly. Because, I mean, it's a guide. It's pretty complete. What are you going to do with it that's not just my guide but less good but with your ads on it? And that's exactly what this site is. It's just my guide but less good. It was really bad English, by the way. Um, I don't, again, don't, please don't go to the website. Don't give them clicks. At least put on an ad blocker before you go there, because they they slapped ads all over the place, um, and it's really gross. So, back to me making guides for myself relating to ads. I don't like ads on my site. I want to get the ads off my site, because you know what? Ads eat up your mobile data. They disrupt things. Uh, maybe it's an ad for a company I hate. Maybe it's Konami. Maybe it's EA Games. They freaking they shut down Visceral Games. I hate those guys. I don't want them advertising on my site. Uh, I don't want anybody advertising on my site, honestly. Except for me, I guess. I want, I, you know, the, in a dream world, the only thing that would be quote unquote advertised on my site is like the games that I make guides for, if you consider that an ad. I mean, it's not really, but you know, it raises awareness. And of course my patron, if you want to call that advertising, um, 
But yeah, if you want to help me get ads off my stuff, I have a patron, or Patreon, however you want to pronounce that. It's, you know, it's made by the tech industry, so they have to just misspell a common word. That's how you name your product. Anyway, I have a patron. It lets people give monthly donations, and uh, that helps me work on my site more, because I can... I can afford to have a good server for my site because of my patrons. Um, ads, I currently do earn more from ads than I do on Patreon. Um, but if my patron were to grow enough, I would not have to have ads on my site or even on my YouTube. Um, if there is ever a point where I can just, I don't need those ads for that ad money, you know, I gotta eat food. But if it ever comes to that point, like I even have a goal active on my patron. If we get to $200 a month, I will reduce my ad units from three to two across the site. And not all of the pages on my site even have ads. Only the guides do, because that takes the most work by far. Uh, so I don't put ads all over the main page and all over the, you know, the guide index or anything like that. I just put them on the big giant guides and then they get lost in the mix because they're so freaking big and I don't even get that much money. But um, yeah, and just let me say, even a dollar a month helps a lot. If everybody who watched my Abyss Room videos on YouTube paid just a buck a month to my patron, that would be my full-time job. I could quit, I could make Abyss Room stuff and other guides full-time, and I would love that, actually. I would love to be able to make cool guides for cool games and cool people, like you all. And I would be able to, a lot of people think, you know, oh, your video guides are a little bit slapdash and stuff. It's like, it's because I don't like video guides. It's, I don't have a lot of time. I work a full-time job in addition to this, by the way. It's pretty hard to find time sometimes, a lot of the times. So, and I've barely gone a day in the last full year uh, without updating my Abyssrium guide in some small way. So, it is a lot of work. Uh, it is appreciated and I, I really thank everybody for appreciating it and those of you who do donate, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> But it, it, like I said, it's a lot of work, and if you want to support me, <laughs> please do, because, like, ideally, I would love to do this as a full-time job. If there is some, you know, reduction in quality that you would notice, that is because, you know, this is basically second job material, and second job that currently doesn't really pay, you know, as much as it should for amount of work I put in. But, uh... Yeah, it just, it does bug me. I, there's probably nothing I can do about this site that stole my stuff. So I just wanted to get on here and complain to you all. And for one thing, let you know that, hey, don't use that site. Um, and B, somebody is, you know, profiting off my crap that I don't even profit off of that much. Um, so, and uh, like I said, if you want to help me get rid of ads, please do. That, that $200 goal is very within reach. Uh, October was a fantastic month for new patrons. I uh, have been mentioning the patron a bit more, and um, it does seem to have, you know, gone through. And another nice thing about donating to my patron is if my patron gets big enough, I don't have to talk about it anymore. I can just make the things. I can be quiet. Wouldn't that be nice for good old Uncle Tap Tap to be quiet? You'd like that, wouldn't you? But nah, nah, you stuck with me. Anyway, don't use taptapfish.net. Um, I'm also not affiliated with the developers. I get that a lot too. People like send me feedback and like thinking that like I make the game. I don't. If you make if you make in-app purchases in the game, if you buy the $100 mermaid thing, that's that does not go to me. I I, I none of this is me. I make the guide so. Yeah, if you want to express appreciation, don't, you know, you, you'd have to do that direct to me, not to the devs. The devs, we, we, we are mad at the devs because they have done some stupid things lately. But that's, that's in other videos. Um, yeah. Also, if you're watching this and you're like, oh no, why don't I have the bone wheel? I've been getting that a lot. Um, some of the Halloween event fish, the, the fusion ones, some of them require more than two of the parent fish for reasons I can't even begin to fathom. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering if you have two uh, Halloween dolphins and you can't make ghost dolphins, it's because you need three or five. Um, it's stupid. It's all my written guide. Again, I the written guide always has the most up-to-date stuff. One of the reasons I don't like video stuff 
is because if I make one mistake in a video thing, I will get 100 complaints about it, and they will not read the other comments. I will answer the same question over and over again. It, the very last Abyss Room video I made that that happened. <laughs> this is the same question. I even made a little card that appears in the top right up here that says, oh, sometimes it's three or five. Yeah, nobody, nobody read it. <laughs> That's, that's why I like my written guide, because I can update that puppy, and and I, I get so many less confused people on the written guide, because somebody asks one question, I update it, and then smooth sailing. On a video, I miss one thing, everybody asks, nobody, nobody sees the corrections, it's, yeah. And, and like I said, I can't spend an incredible amount of time making the video things, because I don't have an incredible amount of time. I, I kind of just, these are just like, hey, this is what's new. Go at it. If you want the super up-to-date stuff, you gotta do the written guide. If if my patron gets big enough and I can do this, you know, like I said, full-time, I can spend a decent amount of time putting in to a video. Otherwise, I kind of just got like <laughs> 10 minutes here and there, throw it together, tiny bit of editing, put it out there before Tony people flip out that I haven't made a video in, in two hours. I thought it was hilarious. The, the, the Halloween update had been out for less than two hours before I saw people saying, wow, I'm surprised your guide hasn't been updated yet. It's like, I don't think you realize how how early it is. Like, people assume I get things early. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with the devs at all. They don't give me the game early. Like, I don't get updates early. I don't get, they don't even respond to my support requests. They do not care that I exist. Like, they're probably mad that I exist. They're like, why are you making our game less confusing? You know, we deliberately made it so that you need three of the Halloween Dolphin when you only need two of the other things. We made that confusing because we hate you. And you just went and made it clear for people. We're, we're upset about this. I don't know. I, <laughs> there's some things in this game. Like I said, the Commercial Dolphin, the description of that has been blatantly wrong for over a full year. They've never fixed it. I've talked about that so many times. They're, they're never going to fix it. They don't care. I mean, in a way, it kind of makes it fun for me because there's like always a travesty that I have to unravel every update to explain to people. And that gives more traffic to my site because the game's confusing as hell. But uh, I wish, you know, I don't really wish it were that way because I like helping people have fun. That's why I make guides. That's, that's what I want my site to be about. That's what I want my channel to be about. I want to help people enjoy things. That's why I don't like being a screamy, ranty channel. That's why I didn't really entirely want to make a video like this. I didn't... When I found that website, I, didn't, I wasn't like... I'm not one of those people that's like, Oh, I get to make a good ranty drama video about this. No, I want to freaking throw up. This is... I hate dealing with this stupid crap. I just want to talk about cool video games and help other people enjoy cool video games. That's... That's my thing. That's what I want to do. Anyway, old tap tap got a little rambly here, which which tends to happen. But yeah, if you want to help me make cool videos about cool things, like I said, you can go to my Patreon, just patreon.com slash sir tap tap. There'll be a little end card that links to there. It'll be in the description. You will you can find it. I, I believe in you. Um, and I do put that at the top of my guide for a reason. That, that really does help. Um, to be perfectly honest, if... Um, if I weren't able to get a little bit of money out of the, the Abyss Room Guide, it has been a pretty incredible amount of work. I don't, I don't really think I could have kept up with it, if not for either ads or the patron. That's right, Parker. Yes. Oh, no, you get Parker pictures if you donate to the patron. Even a dollar, you'll get monthly Parker albums that are exclusive to patrons. Yes, they do, Parker. Yes. They get to be voyeurs of you, Parker. Yes. But you don't care, you're a cat. He wants the attention. Even if he doesn't understand that he's getting the attention, he's still, like, he, actually, I think he knows that he's getting the attention. Because anytime I put up the camera, he's like, oh, yes, it's the camera. And then he rubs his face on it. Anyway, that was more rambly than I meant to, to do. But yeah, don't go to the tap tap fish abyss, or the tap tap dot fish dot net thing. It's somebody that stole my guy. I, I sent them a grumpy email. Um... And I submitted them for web spam on Google, and that's really about all I can do. Uh, it's probably not quite blatant enough for a DMCA claim, but uh, 
I'll see. But, yeah. It's one of those things I probably can't really do too much about, but I thought people should know about. And to know that, yeah. Some jerk out there is at least attempting to profit off of my site, and that blows. But, uh... Oh yeah, the, the app. I don't I don't know if I made a video of this on YouTube, but somebody did make an app that was literally just my website that has their uh, their own ads in place of some of my content and ads, and it was just a direct rip. It even had my banner, the Sir Tap Tap banner. It was really and like some people thought it was mine. Uh, it's it's not. I I only have the website. If you're on either this YouTube channel alone or SirTapTap.com. Those are the only two places for my stuff, or you know, my official social media things, but yeah. I don't really collaborate, I, I do my own thing, and uh, if people be stealing my content, don't, don't, don't let them be doing that. That's right, Parker. Those guys suck. Um, but yeah, that, 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 that ad, that app did get taken down. I submitted my first, baby's first DMCA claim. Um... Nice to be on the sending side for a change, and, and and for a valid one. I was on the receiving side for an invalid one, twice, the same video, for the same person. But I don't want to talk about that, or think about that, ever again. That's right, Parker. Anyway. Enjoy Abyssrium, everybody. <laughs> Sorry if I brought the mood down a little bit with this video. But, uh, sometimes things are real, sometimes people need to eat food. Sometimes people put a lot of work into things that other people just try to pass off as their own. And that sucks. And sometimes you need to be aware that things do suck. Oh, you're so cute. But Parker doesn't suck. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he wants the belly pets. I, I'll end the video here and I can give him the belly pets. If you, if you donate to my patron, I will give him a belly pet in your honor. I will whisper your name gently into his ear. And he will look at me weirdly because he's a cat and he doesn't care. But anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble, everybody.